All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give our honor, our praises, our glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, who the Word only calls God. Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, who the Word only calls Jesus Christ. Would like to say the wild oh, thank you to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for the Rakakwadash. The Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the came around the world. Preaching and teaching his word and truth, and it's sincere to shout out to the old for a lit. <clears throat> it's all your call from the men of South Carolina. Coming back with a quick hitter. You know, I'm just going to do a real quick response on something that I've been uh, meditating on. Pretty sure that uh, everybody uh, all around the world been thinking about. All right, but us brothers and sisters in the, in the faith and the truth can filter it through the scriptures. And we all feel and know and can tell that what the time is moving fast. These days are moving faster and faster and faster, all right? The uh, the days are moving fast, the weeks, the months, all right, the years. All right, it's the 16th of November already, all right? So this time is going fast, and it's all because of the Heavenly Father wants it so, all right? And uh, this is something I've been meditating on, always meditating on, like, damn, time moving fast, man. You don't even have time to do the things you uh, want or need to do. Uh, during the whole day, man, like you do two things. It's like, damn, the day almost over. But uh, <clears throat> smile to um, the elder had did a video. All right. The elder Yashawamba had did a video. All right. A beautiful lesson. If you want it more eloquently put, go check out the elder video. All right. But um, so, yeah. So let's get into this little article. Why 2021 could be a shorter year than normal. The earth is moving faster than it ever has in the last 50 years, scientists have discovered. And experts believe that 2021 is going to be the shortest year in decades. All right. This is because we're hasting. This is the year that was dubbed by the Apostle Tar. All right. Hasting of the, uh, um, the coming of the Lord. All right. And we're hasting for the Heavenly Father to come back, man. And the, the Heavenly Father uh, understands that. All right, and has sped up the time for the elect's sake. And we're going to get that. It says, but don't get too excited. It's not early Christmas again. In fact, you probably won't even notice the difference as it will only be shorter by a matter of milliseconds. This is because the earth is spinning faster on its axis, quicker than it has done in decades. And the days are therefore so like a tiny bit shorter. All right, it says, it is not completely clear why the planet is doing this, but the rotation is affected by a number of factors, including the motion of its molten core, the ocean, and the atmosphere. All right, then they uh, were saying that the uh, clocks may need to skip a second. All right. So, hey, the earth, hey, <clears throat> the earth is moving faster. These days are going by faster, these weeks. All right. And it's all because uh, the Heavenly Father wants it so. All right, let's grab these scriptures. It's Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect say, those days shall be shortened. All right. So if it wasn't for the elect, all right, nobody would be delivered, man, because it's nothing but death and destruction and Babylon the Great and various other places where Esau, Edom is ruling. All right. So if it wasn't for the days being shortened, hey, Esau, damn, have everybody gone. They'll try to get that new world order. Right and all that. So the Heavenly Father has what sped up the time for the elect's sake. So he can uh the Heavenly Father can send his son, all right, the Messiah, Yahweh Shah to return. All right, that's why the days are uh, are speeding up. So the Lord's will can come to pass because it's that time. <clears throat> it's Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts, that it shall not leave them neither root nor branch. This is why the days are going faster. Because the Heavenly Father is about to uh, destroy Babylon the Great. Point blank, period. That's the answer. Okay, not the scientific answer. Okay? The days are going by, the weeks are going by, months, years are going by faster because the Heavenly Father is speeding up the time because he's about to send his only begotten son to return to the earth. This is uh, 2 Peter 3, and I'll get straight to the point. Run out of time a little bit. Um, let's 
Salaki. All right, this is why the uh, days are going faster. All right, let me start back one more. I started verse 10. This is 2 Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's the destruction of Babylon the Great. All right, that's why the time is speeding up. And this, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwells righteousness. That's why the time is going fa uh, faster. Because, hey, it's time for the, uh, uh, a new heaven and a new earth where dwells righteousness. There's nothing but wicked, wickedness dwelling in this earth now. All right, so the times are getting sped up for the elect's sake so the, uh, the kingdom can get ushered in. So we can live in a world where dwelleth righteousness. All right, Isaiah 55 and 10. For as the rain coming down and the snow from heaven and returning not thither, but water the earth and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please it. So like it, that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. All right, so the words of the Heavenly Father is not going to go out void. And his word is that, all right, he was going to create a new heavens and new earth where dwells righteousness. All right? And with that uh, being said, the earth, uh, the time is moving by faster so that uh, that new heavens and that new earth can be ushered in. All right? Where the Israelites are ruling. All right? So it is just a little quick, uh, you know, um, you know, response. So call all your how about shimmy outside. Shalom.